First, I want to thank everybody for being here and uh, how good it is uh, being away two years and now back together for the uh, CBS4 Nat Moore Trophy. Um, it's an honor. And uh, I have to give a special thank you to CBS4, starting with uh, President and General Manager, uh, Mr. Darrell Green. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you for um, your initiative to keep this program going. It means so much to our young kids. We're talking about the four finalists. We're not talking about the hundreds that were nominated. You know, the inspiration that we are hopefully creating with them as well. It's not about whether you win the award. It's about getting noticed for the things that you're doing in your school, in your community, while playing the game of football. It's about learning how to lead. So thank you, thank you, thank you for your initiative. My good friend, Jim Berry, um, none of this would be possible without you. You're, you are amazing. Um, and the thought, and when you guys first came to me, I was like, I'm in, I'm in. And I've had the pleasure to work with everybody at CBS4. So I want to say thank you to CBS4, the entire staff, everybody, for what you do, not just to uh, support me, but the entire community. CBS4 is always there. So let's give them a big round of applause, please. You know, football was an outlet for me to learn the importance of uh, hard work. More importantly, being a good teammate. That's what I said. Hard work, more importantly, being a good teammate. Now, 11 players at the same time have to depend on each other to do their job, to be successful. No other sport has 11 guys that have to do their job for you to be successful, and you know you can depend on your teammates. So it's not about ever letting your teammates down. Matter of fact, look at all my teammates that showed up here tonight. We still, we still have each other's back. Everything that we are fortunate enough to do is because of each other. We do it together. Accountability in the classroom. How many, how many of you guys love taking tests? Huh? Wait a minute. Oh, no, we finna go to school now. You know, every week, every weekend you take a test. When you're out there on that field, you're taking a test. You've had to learn the playbook. Learn your teammates. And then when certain plays or certain defenses are called, you've got to know what you do, and then you got to go do it, right? So you got to learn it, recall it, and then perform it. What do you do in the classroom? You learn stuff, and somehow or another, some teacher that ain't thinking about you give you a test where if you can't recall it, you're going to fail. School... When you're getting something up here, helps the rest of your body function. So I beg of you, from here on in, learn as much as you can. Remember we talked about that earlier, right? Learn as much as you can in the classroom because at some point, the game leaves. But you've been prepared for life for the future. Very important. You know, if you'd have told me when I was playing football that I would be listening to Joe Rose on the radio, no way. That Kim Bocamper would have been on TV, what? But no one worked harder to learn their crafts. And along the way, they become the best at what they do. Joe Rose, what's the name of your show? The Joe Rose Show, 560? 
Yeah, you got the whole station now. It's all about what you put up here that gives you success in everything you do. All right? Whatever you do, this is your night. But in the end, it's about what you put up here that's going to take you the rest of your life. You can only run for so long. Joe couldn't run at all. <laughs> you know, football took me a long way. Um, 13 years in the NFL. But at some point, I had to do something else. And I was able to go into business. Now I'm a senior exec for the Miami Dolphins. It's not about my legs. It's about what I got up here. I beg of you, I want you to be just as good in the classroom as you are on the football field. Every day you get up with one thought, how am I going to get smarter and how am I going to get better? So you're working on this and then you're working on your craft, all right? Now, and I think I said this earlier, but I'm going to say it again. Your recognition is because of your hard work, your perseverance, and your commitment to the team and teammates. The team and teammates. It's very important that you keep that in mind because when you get to the next level, it carries over. A football team is only as good as the weakest link. So is a community. So if we don't help each other, your community is not a great place to live. South Florida's been a great place to live for you guys, right? All these football players, I mean, I think two of them came from California. Where's Pat? Pat, where, where, where'd you, where are you from? Huh? New Orleans. New Orleans. Uh, what are you from Philadelphia? South Florida, because we all roll up our sleeves and get involved, is a great place to lead. They come and they don't go home. They stay here because it's a great place to live, because as athletes we get involved. So wherever you go, get involved. Continue to get involved, all right? Now, Jim told me I only had five minutes, and, you're going and I told him it's my show. <laughs> but uh, all seriousness, young man, congratulations. Just remember how hard you worked to get here. Remember the people that work with you. Always respect your parents and your teachers and your coaches because without them, there is no you. Do the same things that you did to get here to continue to grow. And if you do that, I promise you, in three to four years, you'll have Joe talking about you on the radio as you're running up and down the sideline here in Hard Rock Stadium. Congratulations. Thank you.